Hello everybody and welcome to another 6th edition Tyranids video. This time we're talking about the Biovore. Remember this face. Remember this face. This is the face of the guy who taught you how to kick ass with Tyranids first. When everybody else in the world literally said they suck. Biovore, or as I like to call him, the Win-Win-Vore. This all comes down to a little quirk of the rules, which so far nobody has been accurately able to prove me wrong on, and I'm sure somebody out there wants to very, very badly. If you can, please post it below. The Biovore shoots. If the tin plate lands on an enemy or friendly unit, it blows up with the standard spore mine tin plate strength 4, AP 4 blast. Boom! Good. The joy starts when he misses. And then it says you create a D3 spore mine cluster. Now the question is, what type of deployment is this? I'm going to say it's certainly not any type of reserve deployment that I've ever seen before. So I'm going to say... This spore mine cluster, which is created by shooting the biovore, it can run and assault after that. It's the next phase. One happened in the shooting phase. It's on the table in the shooting phase. It goes on. Uh, well, and it hasn't moved yet. Uh, obviously, it's just placed there. It hasn't moved uh, so why can't it run an assault on the turn that it's placed down there? I'm fairly certain there's nothing in the main rule book that says it can't. But like I said, I know there's a whole lot of people uh, foaming at the mouth who would be lovely to, to, to just show me that it can't do this. Until then, whatever. Uh, well, if it can, then you can see why it's a win-win. You actually want these things to miss. And I'll tell you why. Because the spore mine cluster rules then take effect. And what does the spore mine cluster rule say? The spore mine cluster rule says that when it hits something, okay, for every other spore mine in the cluster covered by the template, you add one strength to the blast. So when these guys miss, they get stronger. They get stronger. If it's a one spore mine cluster, then it's the same as if it had hit. But <clears throat> if it's a two, then now it's a strength five AP4. If it's a three, it's now a strength six AP4. And as far as I can see, as I said before, it can still move an assault on the turn, on the, on, on the next, on that turn. Uh, I haven't found anything in the codex that says it can. Um, so that's just, it's the win-win vor. That's why I call it that. It's infantry too, which makes it fun because that means it can pop out of a tunnel and shoot <laughs> and still have the move. And you can imagine three of them popping out of a tunnel, each one doing three assaults if they all miss with a large blast template. Basically, uh, optimal situation, strength six, AP four, ordinance blast, boom. That's how I see them. This, I know this is a very short video, but that's pretty much all the Biovore does. I mean, you either stand him back and shoot them, or in this case, you can bring him up and shoot them. Because the reason why you would bring it through a tunnel at that point, since it's an infantry unit, is to shorten that deviation roll. Um, at least that's how I would see it. But uh, you know what? On the other hand, if you want it to miss, stand back. Hope to miss. Put them down on the table and make them stronger. This is how I see it. <clears throat> this is how I've used them. So so you, you really can't miss with the Biovore. I guess the worst that can happen is you hit your own units, uh, which is a whole other reason for standing back, too. Um, so this obviously casts the Biovore in a very different light in 6th edition than it was in 5th edition. And uh, that's why I have fun with them. And I hope other people try them out. Uh, let me know your experiences with them. 
and post them below. Until next time, keep eating the galaxy. <laughs>